Hi, today is September the 17th, 2021, and I'm going to read on if the FBI will have reformation of some kind or a rehaul. Um, so, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, just a little information while I shuffle the cards. And I ask for my spiritual mentors and ancestors to assist and guide me to read accurately and clearly, and the Creator also, um, with all my readings. So, <clears throat> without further ado, Chris, Christopher Ray, in case you didn't know, is the current director of the FBI. And he came in in 2017. Okay. Christopher Ray's birthday is December 17th, which makes him a Sagittarius. One of the things, I looked only at his chart very quickly, and I just looked at his sun and moon, um, is that his moon is kind of on this cusp between Aquarius and uh, Pisces and Aquarius. Um, And it's only like one degree into, I think it is Pisces that I saw. Yeah. Okay. Now, the prototype of the FBI was created by Attorney General um, Charles Bonaparte. And initially it consisted of just a small group of officers, if you will. This <clears throat> small group was transformed into the FBI formally by George Wickersham, Attorney General, um, I think who stepped into office <clears throat> and went ahead and issued that formal order to create the FBI. And within two years, Congress had tripled the size of the FBI and broadened its investigative authority. So there's just a bit of information about Christopher Ray and a little bit about the FBI. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Is the FBI going to undergo a really significant transformation for the better? <clears throat> All right, is the FBI going to undergo change, transformation, for the better? I think it needs it. What can you show us about the FBI And if it faces changes that are significant, much needed ahead. What should we be aware of with regard to it being changed in the way it needs to be changed, you know, renewed? <clears throat> Let's take a look. I'm using the Illusory deck, and that's Illusory with an I at the end. You can find it on Etsy. Okay. So here we go. We have a ruin. Mm, wow, okay. And it's talking about, again, a long cycle. But a cycle where we have a lot of things going on that are undermining its power. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's also the card's way of saying this organization needs help more help than you realize, more help than most of us realize. Yes, it needs a renewal. 
and the Ten of Swords means it's it's gotten bogged down. Um, swords are often the intellect, thoughts, you know. So with ruin, I just it, obviously it needs to be rebuilt. You know, that's a pretty heavy card to get right out you know, from the start. Crossing the FBI is we're dealing with people that are are being very pushy about getting their way, bullying other people, intimidating other people, and going too far um, when it comes to dealing with other people. It's the my way or the highway attitude. So the Five of Swords is crossing as a struggle, as a challenge. And the Five, of course, is always going to be a challenge. Let's look at also the, with this card. Um, there's a mouth here, and there's it, talking, some kind of secrets you know, being put into this ear of the listener. So we have ruin and defeat. Um, I wasn't quite expecting that bad of cards, but this is indicative that our FBI really is not in a healthy state. It has run itself to the last card in the swords, to the ten, where I believe um, I, where I believe there is much as it's not as unfortunately I feel like it's not as effective of an office at this time. There's a lot of I feel like loose ends with that um, Ten of Swords. I feel like there's been so many things that are not in alignment or out of, or chaotic, if you will. Um, there's also, I feel like, a lot of bad mouthing. When I look at this Five of, of Swords and I see the mouth and with the trying to whisper, I feel like it's negative talk. It's also... Um, defeat an element of defeat to it of, of like this can't be fixed there's like doubters there that are holding it back I'm also feeling when I look at that five of swords there's people at odds with each other within that organization where I feel like there's kind of a splitting up of sides sometimes um, that's not going to work very well I feel like you have small pockets of people and I don't feel like it's very united and yes that Five of Swords, with the mouth again, you know, it looks to me like people talking, people leaking information. Um, it's just not as together as it should be at all. At all. There's big problems there. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. You know, I know there's problems, but this is really, 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 really significant. I guess I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed, I guess. Perhaps more disappointed that I'm seeing this. This level. You know, I like again, I expected some, but this level's heavy. I mean, that's the 10. That's it. That's the highest uh, card 
for um, and it's as I said it's not a positive in this case it's a heaviness and it's ruinous and I feel like they're not able to get certain things done there because of different agendas of other various people that are in that that should not be in office okay I'm saying that because I'm picking up on that let's throw down the next cards okay the basis is the ace of wands yes there does need to be new energy new injection of people and um, vetting knowing exactly what kind of person you've got here to deal with you know hiring down-to-earth people that are committed to doing their job and serving the uh, nation and the obviously the interests of our government um, but also in investigating mm -hmm. you know important things where we need a higher authority that has their stuff together it doesn't have it together right now so yes you know Chris may have been new to be brought in we know that what Trump did he really screwed up that office but it indicates I think too that there needs to be most definitely a rehaul The Two of Wands, there's a decision about it that's, you know, going to come up. And in the recent past, we have the Page of Cups. This is a bit of a surprise. It also says Understanding on that card, in case you're curious. Sorry about the glare. We have the Three of Swords. Yes. Oh my God, look at it. It's it's really, the cards are really saying that organization is ill, if you will. There's a lot of betrayal. Okay? And that shouldn't be in there. Um, it, I believe it will undergo change. I also feel like this this page of cups is stunted a limited people that are in charge have more of a limited experience or a limited I don't know mentality um, I'm shown a lot of like ruin and the Three of Swords isn't just contrast. I, you know, I don't know why they've put that there. But the Three of Swords is heartache, you know, hard feelings, um, sorrow, sadness. It can be about illness. Um, but also, more importantly, betrayal. And somebody within it that is not being uh, a good servant of the I guess the government and the and and the people as an FBI uh, agent director there's big problems big I, I think it's really needs healing and unification that was the other thing with the three of swords okay so we in its near future it goes into a cycle of healing the fraction and the division within it new energy coming in I believe this could be new people uh, who bring in new choices of what they're going to do. Yes, there's deceit. 
okay, with the Seven of Swords with this organization right now. There's a lot of things they haven't been honest about. Now, I'm not going to say all because it's not fair to blanket everyone, but it looks like there's some key people there with significant uh, investigations where there's deceit going on. There's trickery going on. There's underhandedness going on. And I think there are some, what I'm getting with this Three of Swords, who's loyalties may not be the way they should be okay or they're just not cut out for this work and they need to go they're causing more harm than good definitely see that right now now I'm hopeful whoopsies sorry that this three of swords isn't further um, fractioning, but it could be. It's one of two. It's the healing of it, or it could be some fractioning, further fractioning that occurs. Because I do show deceit here. It's so disappointing. Postponement. This is also the card of long-term healing, of recovery. Um, but it takes time. It needs to be very, very watched, very guided, nursed, if you will, so that it stays on the right path of healing and, you know, going in a better way. This is also the card, again, um, it can be of postponement, but for me, the hangman's usually postponement. The Four of Swords, for me, is a projected healing, the need for healing. So I'd say that they definitely do need that, and that is what is in the environment. So I feel the answer, which makes me feel very happy, is that, yes, it will undergo significant change. It's coming in the near future to work on, I think, healing the division within that agency. I'm sure that some people will be let go. Fair, not now. You do not, every time after she eats, you guys, she has this, I, she's going to meow loudly and then give herself a bath. She's looking at me now like, hey, who do you think you are? All right, in the hopes and fears with the um, FBI, Ten of Pentacles, um, wealth. I feel like this is more about a collective health and togetherness, like a big family again. And I, you know, one that works well with each other, one that can deal with each other. I think right now you have people that just do not like each other. And I don't think we have the right people, some of, some of the right people in where, where key positions are concerned. It's just the feeling I'm getting from this. So that is the hope for it to become unified again and more of a working body, you know, an agency that's as one, you know, you know, you know, I'm sorry, I say that too much. All right, the final end result card is the five of cups. There's disappointment, there's grieving, there is loss. We need to pay attention to that. I think it could be that we're going to find out more things that further disappoint us in this agency as it currently is or as it has been with the people that have been calling the shots over the 45 era 
uh, let's pull a few clarifiers. The Four of Pentacles. These people want to stay put. There's real stubbornness. And they want to hold power. They are not going to allow these changes that needed to p take place, nor their position to be, um, let's just say, dissolved. Or rather, they will not be in the, have the same position anymore. They will not be in the FBI anymore. And I think some people, I'm, I'm just going to say this because I'm just picking this up, will actually get investigated. And some people may get into some very big trouble that are in the FBI. Just a feeling I'm getting. So this is also about control. And if we look at it in a positive light, and I do need to grab another card to see how it's going to reflect. It could be about it can be about the security of of the group of the bureau and i think it's that definitely also plays um it has to play it there are people that want to secure it there are people that also want to tightly control it and not necessarily in the way that is best um this is the King of Pentacles. Now, Chris Ray is a Sag. I don't think it's him, but it could be. There's someone that's wanting to, I feel like, hold on. And I think that's where the disappointment comes in. That they're not allowing something to occur or they're not doing the right thing. They're greedy, they're a miser, and they're more interested in their own security than doing the right thing. I'm being shown a king of pentacles. Um, I'm thinking that is someone that has, it does say abundance on this king of pentacles, I feel like that is someone that has done well, econ you know, with their paycheck or their income in some way. And there's greed here. There's greed with this King of Pentacles. There's also the love of power and control. Again, very stubborn not going to give up one's position and just roll over. Look at that. That's interesting. So we go from the Four of Pentacles then to the Five of Pentacles with this individual. And we're shown worry. Let's just... There's also a mess at this, I feel like, bureau. And I think there's things that it just hasn't been well managed is what I'm getting. I feel like there's confusion. Um, some of that's deliberate. Some of it I'm getting is just because it's not been run the way it should be. Okay. So, again, let me just move these ones to the side and continue. Because I feel like I want to continue a bit more. And I read in pairs, so let's grab the other one, okay? There we go. All right. This worry and this Five of Pentacles... is talking about developing skills, being very, you know, that it's recognizing how 
bad a shape it's in, really, at the end of the day. And its need with the Eight of Pentacles to, to become updated, all right, and for specific certain things to be done, actively done with the Eight of Pentacles to change, to fix, to improve. And these cards make me feel what it has to be one of the two. And I'm kind of going to go with, I think there's somebody here that's being a bit selfish with this King of Pentacles. It could be Chris Ray, even though it's different than his son. That doesn't always, you know, it's just helpful at times, a lot of the time, actually. This could be another person, another male that's high up in there, though. And I feel like this guy does not want to budge. That's the word I got, does not want to, and especially the word budge, doesn't want to budge. But the health of this organization is in a bad place. It's weak, been weakened, I'm getting. Um, you have people there that don't belong there because they don't know how to think the way that you need to think uh, that is more broad and with greater understanding. Better trained people as well. I'm just getting some of the people are just worrisome that they've got working there. Especially I think that King of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. They really want to hold on to their power. They don't want it to change. completely selfish okay yep new vision they the ones that don't want anything to be changed that's too bad you know it's time to be as I was saying updated it's time for new vision in the FBI and it's time for somebody that has a very different uh, perspective that is able to, especially that is able to see from different perspectives and isn't just my way or the highway here. This is somebody that's too stubborn. It's not meant, doesn't work well as someone that's meant to, I feel like, be in charge of other people. So I see some changes coming in. Yes, temperance. So there will be a tempering of the FBI. Um, this is uh, metting out extremes. This is bringing it into harmony and into balance. And it's not that everybody has to believe the same thing there, um, personally or privately, but it's that they can do their job and um, well, extremely well. So this is comforting to, to see, really, because it scares me the idea that that agency getting worse, any way worse in, in any of them running rogue. Um, it really depreciates the work on the whole that they do collectively. Now, this King of Pentacles and the Four Pentacles, let's just be fair, could also be about somebody that wants to secure the FBI and recognizes that it's in weak shape and wants it to have a course here.
here to follow that would strengthen it. Could be that too, this, this king of, of um, pentacles. Hmm. This could be this man that has that vision, that new vision, and how to temper it. See, it can be read both ways, but with the other cards now, I'm, I'm leaning more that way. But I am sure that there will be those, without a doubt, that have held office there, that need to go, that don't want to, and will not go quietly. I'm sure there's got to be, there's usually someone in the crowd, but this four and the king of pentacles is feeling more like maybe somebody wants to really secure it. I'm hoping so. Yeah, look, the devil. This shows that there's corruption, okay? <clears throat> and there's a very oppressive energy right now falling underneath the worry card at, um, that, in that agency. There's high-level corruption that is oppressive for the other people that are not corrupt working in that agency. There are people that need to be brought to justice. There's evil that is being done. And some of these people are not fit, are not, um, they have an agenda. Okay, let's just pull another card. Yes, things will go in a better direction. They will be guided and less chaotic. So yes, the FBI is going to overgo changes in personnel and in how it's set up. I think there's going to be some new things too and strengthening and protecting it. Okay. I feel like also they are going to be really serious. They're very serious about this work. It's not just, oh yeah, we're going to say we're going to do it. Nothing happens. No, it's going to happen. And I see it being refined and becoming a even better agency that probably better than it's ever been so there's important important changes that will come in significant ones that are broadened perspective the way it should be and refined sensibly moderation and kicking out the devil that's stinking up the place with corruption. Getting those people that are corrupt out. Out of the agency. Here we have another card that's speaking of gaining in strength and becoming perhaps with valor a, a secure agency that has been changed, uh, it's renewed, updated to handle <clears throat> the current issues at hand. Yeah, okay, I'm going to say Mr. Pentacles is a good dude. Um, bringing and teaching new, you know, the layout, the rules, how we do this. Okay, so there's going to, I think, be a new director. Further into the future. Not quite yet. Just a little further down the road. Probably sometime next year. But um, it might happen before then. So we get the Queen of Swords, the card of intelligence and discernment falling under the devil and the Five of Pentacles.
I believe, again, this is finding out who's corrupt and clearing these people out of office, out of, of, of any kind of work for them. Intelligence, I mean, FBI is intelligence. But sadly, when we look down vertically, we're shown the card of worry, we're shown um, not a very well, strong, or unified at all uh, agency. And it has, it is really right now at this time extremely corrupt. There's some very extremely corrupt people there. Not all of them. Never ever paint the, everybody with the same brush. But key people definitely there um, that are powerful, that are corrupt, and that are pushing a corrupt agenda and abusing that office especially where intelligence is concerned. Maybe they're sharing it and scared that uh, they're going to get found out for whatever criminal actions they've done. They've done something criminal, though. The devil doesn't just come up because it isn't that um, a kick in the pants. It's meaning something or someone is extremely corrupt and I think in this case it is more than one person maybe even five people especially for all I know with that five of Pentacles but I believe this um, agency will be investigated looked into the Queen of Swords could this be the vice president uh, Harris, you know, um, or another woman in office that would give the green light for that to happen because I definitely see them being taken under examination and given to change. Yes, and I see success. That's, oh, whew. That's good. So they'll be able to overcome the obstacles within the organization right now. And I see they will become stronger and more, um, what's the word? More ethical, you know, valor. And I feel like more people in there working as they should be in with real devotion um, and love for our this nation and uh, the safety of our populace, no matter who they are. So I'm feeling like they get a better crew of people in and the bad apples gonna go and you know what? Also with that six of um, swords, I think falling next to the devil, the, the corrupt people are going to have to face the music. I think there's going to be people that they, do, that they do bring up, that they do say, hey, this is somebody within our organization that needs to be investigated, and if they've done something criminal, then face whatever legal consequences come their way. They definitely are going to tidy up this bureau, really bring it to balance. That's really pleasing. And there's a man specifically here that is going to help to give them a better, I, I think, um, agency and there's new things that will be taught and other people being brought in to teach um, agents different things totally different vision coming 
to knock out the corruption that they know is in there. And I believe you're going to see more women. Queen of Swords, more women um, <clears throat> perhaps uh, assisting in this um, change and setting up and being in a new office. It could, uh, it, I just feel like there's a more balance. This line looks so much better than these. I mean, look at this. This is somebody, I think, that's trying to secure an insecure situation or an unsecure situation. And he has a great deal of worry about there's too much division, I think, within this agency. Wanting to bring in new guidelines, new things to be taught and to be learned and improved. And here we have that new vision. Then what it has been or is at the present time. And this is about the things that need to be refined, the things that need to be changed, and getting people to see that from another point of view. Um, and I think that will be successful because there's a real awful corruption that's exposed, um, or that they know of, for sure, that they want to be out of their organization. They want people that are dedicated that have their heads on, screwed on the right way. <clears throat> you know, without being devoted to some weirdo or strange, corrupt ideas. People that are sincere about their job and this protecting this nation helping this nation's populace. So when we look this way, we get the Eight of Pentacles, really cool. We get learning new things and getting better and better at, our, at their skills and um, an improvement for sure because it shows they are learning new things. They go in a, and I think they will also be learning about uh, the corrupt things that have gone on. But anyhow, there is taking the agency into a better direction. Um, huge changes are going to happen. That whatever needs to be ha uh, changed will be changed. And I'm seeing that there's big things that do need to be changed. They will be guided successfully. And as a result, the wonderful thing is there's a stronger agency with better uh, updated uh, instruction and rules and people that are committed uh, to respecting those rules and gathering intelligence successfully okay and doing their job successfully and as a stronger organization that is more pulled together so this is going to be happening in the next I think from this point on, but really picking up, I think, next year. As far as change, seeing like hearing that changes are going to occur, I think they're going to get somebody new in and they're going to get some different people to work on rehauling, overhauling, renewing the FBI. So if you enjoy my content, please um, make sure to hit the thumbs up before you head out. Make sure that you are still subscribed. Things can be a bit wonky on YouTube. And make sure your notification bells are on. And share with like-minded people. Thank you so much. Without you, I couldn't do this. Um, or I could do it, but it wouldn't be any fun. So thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video or live. Take care.